Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and today we have the GLAN CUDA 100X FPV drone. So now you're asking, hey, it's an FPV drone, but what's so exciting and awesome about it? Well, let me take the box and put it over here and tell you the following. It has 2.5 inch props. It takes a 3S battery. You can put an 850 milliamp hour LiPo battery on here and you might get up to 11 minutes of flight time with it. F4 flight controller, 20 amp ESC, XT30 battery connector, it has 5,000 kV motors, brushless, gem fan, three bladed props, weight, it's under 250 grams. But what I find to be the most amazing thing about this FPV drone that sets it apart from other FPV drones is that it's analog. You know, analog, you have your analog fat shark goggles or box goggles. It's the lowest priced FPV drone on the market when they're analog. But that's not what's exciting. What's exciting is that the VTX at the back, being analog, shoots out at 600 milliwatts. That's a lot. So that's it. Well, actually, there's a bit more. Do you remember last year I reviewed this drone? This is the CUDA 85X, and now we have the new one, CUDA 100X. Essentially, this 85X, you can't buy it anymore. Plink, it's been replaced with the 100X. So if you look at this little guy that I reviewed last year, I really liked it. It was a really good FPV quad, and this one is just as good. It's just bigger. So in other words, this little 85X can only fly with a little 450 milliamp hour LiPo battery, whereas you can put an 850 on this one. It had two inch props, 2.5 inch props, smaller frame, larger frame, doesn't handle as well in the wind, handles well in the wind. VTX only shot out at this one at 400, which was still pretty good. This one shoots out at 600. The interesting thing I noticed on the 85X last year was that there was very little carbon fiber on it but a lot of plastic very flexible prop guards so on this one same idea look at the bottom there's not a lot of carbon fiber there's a little bit running down the center at the top but it's like plexiglass they stuck around this thing so it's different it's very strong plastic it's very non-flexible so i assume it stands up to quite a bit in this review you're going to see me crash this quad and break something very important on it that's going to make me stop reviewing it for a second until i fix it so for receivers you can get all types of receivers in here from crossfire to elrs to fr sky to plug and play i have elrs in mine and because of that i have a few elrs radios here this is the commando from iflight and this one here is the radio master zoro from radio master and in this video i use both of them because i can switch between them since they're both elrs and for the flight you're going to see i fly with my fat shark analog goggles and record video inside so you'll see video from this as well as the camera i stuck on the front and the final thing i want to say before you watch my review is that since i've flown this multiple times i'm going to say this drone is very forgiving it's very easy to fly just like the 85x was very very easy for a beginner you would have no problem flying drones like this they're very very good and it's a pusher style drone with the motors facing down so it's really decent all right here watch my review all right i'm at my local park with the cuda 100x and i want to fly it around this area because there's lots of things to fly around except there's kids that come to the park even though today is a rain day a rain day is a day where it rains and then it stops the sun comes out for a little bit then the rain comes out again that's what's happening right now so i was hoping there'd be less people here but i do see a family over on my right so i'll stay away from them so i'm just going to fly this around i did put the insta 360 go to camera up front because this is an analog camera and of course the quality is not going to look that great but i will record the analog video in my fat shark goggles as well as the insta 360 go to camera video and show you both of them on the screen here we go now for this flight i am going to use an 850 milliamp hour lipo battery it's going to make this pretty heavy, especially with the Insta360 GO 2 on the front. So it won't be as responsive, but uh, I'm going to find out as I fly. Now I've got my fat sharks on, but because it's such a dull day right now, the sun's gone out. It's very dark in here. Ooh, scary. I don't know if I can show you the image. If I can, you'll see it right beside me. Put an air mode and uh, we'll take off with that. With the heavy battery, everything else. Here we go. Yeah, going by me. One over here. I don't see any people over here, so I can go around that. It's a little heavy with all that weight, that big battery and the camera up front. There I am right there, coming over me. But uh, it is manageable, it's manageable. As soon as you start going straight, you're okay. So the reason I'm out here, I'm just watching for humans, is because I can go under little trees and around things. Of course I have analog goggles on, so the image quality is not the greatest as I'm probably showing you on the screen. It's very dark and you know, like you can see stuff, but you can't see a lot of stuff. 
So it's like hit and miss what you're looking at. So you can go through some stuff. Other stuff you can crash into. Ah, gotta go get that. So that's what we call an unfortunate turn of events. Look what happened. Hey, my Insta360 goes pretty good. Kind of dirtied up. Everything in the front is good. But when I crashed, I don't know how I did it, but I chopped up the ELRS antenna. So know what that means? The receiver is useless. I have to get another antenna and I don't really have one. This is my ELRS receiver. It was stuck inside here, but when it crashed, it popped out. And of course this blade chopped it up. So the receiver's dead as well as the antenna all is gone. Oh, easy fix. All you do is you get another ELRS receiver. They don't cost very much and you solder them on, except I don't really have one. And it was a good ELRS receiver too. Darn, that was a good quality one. Oh well, but everything else on the bottom is in tip top shape. There's no other damage to the bottom or the top. It's all perfect. Okay, so the outdoor flight was a disaster since I destroyed the receiver, but it's no problem because on the CUDA 85X, it has the same ELRS receiver and antenna. So I just took it off and I put it on this one and now we're all set to go. So for this flight, I'm going to put the Insta360 GO 2 camera back in here and I'm going to fly it around my house. Uh, I'm going to fly it wearing my fat shark. So I'll show you the video from in here. Basically just to show you that if you put this in angle mode, you can fly it around your house very nicely. So I might try going around the house, upstairs, come back down to the main floor outside, fly around the backyard, back inside. Let's see how it goes. Okay, our little drone, we're gonna put it down on the floor over here. Now it might be kind of noisy because I have my patio door open and there's a lot of construction out in the backyard, not my backyard, but the house next to me. Might see it when we fly outside, but let's go fly now. All right, I'm in angle mode, here we go. This drone flies really smooth and really nice, so you can fly through your house no problem. Let me just go forward here. And let's go around the house really quick. Come down through stuff. I'm not going to go under anything. That's me going past me. Try not to hit my head. And then going over here. Gonna go upstairs. I closed all the doors. I only have one room open upstairs. I just make sure I don't hit the ceiling as I'm coming up. This is the only room I have open. That's my wife's office. Just got all her baking goods ready to go for the next uh, little session of markets. We've got a lot of bedrooms upstairs. We're gonna come back up down the stairs. Try not to hit anything. If you crash with a drone going downstairs, it tumbles. So you have to go really fast forward. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna bring it forward, down to where I am, come underneath. And outside, and there we go. I don't see it. think you'll see the construction. It's back here in this guy's backyard over there behind, right down there. It's kind of low. I can't point the nose down because I'll hit the tree. But anyways, whoa, I just missed the bird feeder. There we are outside, and I will try not to crash and destroy the receiver again. I'm flying in angle mode, so it's very, very tame here. Nothing exciting. There we go. You can see the guys working over there. All right, so now I'm going to come back this way and go back inside. Coming through, coming through, going underneath. My hairy legs, and we'll land. Okay, what I'll do next really quick is I'll go out my front door and I'll fly it around the front of the house and you'll see it doing flips and rolls. Here we go. Okay, I'm in the front of my house. Uh, let's take it for a flight. Here we go. You can see me over here. Hopefully it's recording in my camera. The image doesn't look that great in analog, but uh, that's it. I do have the Insta360 GO 2 on, so that's good. Let's go. Woo, that caught me off guard right there. I got caught on a piece of grass, so it uh, didn't want to take off. It went forward. Anyways, here I am going down the street. I can see how good the analog reception is going down the street. It's pretty decent, actually. I'm only at 400. This thing can go up to 600, and I'm only at 400 milliwatts. Of course, if you want to fly farther, you would put it at 600. It just uses up more power, so I've got it at 400. But yeah, there you go. And I'll just stay away from those cars. And I'll show you some stuff because I don't want to clunk on them. So going right here. There we go. That was a nice little spinny spinny. And it didn't even lose any altitude, which was nice. All right, let's come down low to the ground through the cars. There we are. Let's give it a little bit of speed. There we are, zooming past the cars. And if we go out this way, we can see that's where the guys are working right down there. Whoop, starting to lose a little bit of reception. 
due to all the interference of the houses and come on back. All right, let's bring this back to me. Let's come down nice and slow over the grass. Nice, slow, relaxed flying right over here. Coming over to me, coming over to me. And there I am, right at my feet. Hello me. Boink. Now the next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box if you buy this baby. Check it out. This is the box the CUDA 100X comes in. Inside the box you'll find the CUDA 100X. The camera is an analog CAD-X Ant branded camera. The video transmission shoots out at a maximum of 600 milliwatts. The propulsion is provided by GL1204 brushless motors that run at 5000 kV. Props are GEMFAN 2540. An additional set of GEMFAN props are provided. The flight controller is a modern day F4 and the ESC is a 20 amp pro ESC. 3S power is supplied by an XT30 battery connector. If you attach an external camera that requires power, there is an external power cable supplied. Additional foam landing feet are also included, as well as tools. And the last item is a diagram of the F4 flight controller. Total weight of the CUDA 100X is 118 grams. All right, so back to me. My final thoughts on this drone are, once again, it's very forgiving, very easy to fly. Beginners will love it. Pros will love it even more. So I would suggest if you buy this quad that you take the ELRS receiver and you shove it underneath the flight controller where it's supposed to go. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't have much else to say on it. It's pretty darn decent. Uh, links are below. You can probably buy this all over the place. Banggood sent me this one, so I'll put the links to Banggood below and you can go check it out and see if it's the price for you. See if my discount coupon below brings the price down. Hey, it's an analog FPV drone and it's a pretty good one. So uh, with all that said, I say I give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more reviews. And if you enjoyed this one, please give this one a thumbs up. Catch you in the next video. Bye.